welcome to another video so this particular video i'm going to be showing you how to make an application to another university that is open for admission 2025 2026 academic section so this university is university of siena okay so in this video we're going to be seeing the courses available in english language and everything that you need to know so let's go now so once you open the portal, you'll see this up. You can go through here or you can come through here. So let's just go straight through this place. Now, like I always say, take your time to read everything that involves international students that has to do with you. Okay. So. So you can explore these places, life in Siena, culture, and just know what it's about. So you see that the admission is open till May 6th. Why study in Siena? Which course am I available? Which courses am I eligible for? The admission process. So we can just run through the admission process here if you want to. Then the course is available. So they have foundation courses. These are the entry requirements. Match bachelor degree programs, master degree program, combined bachelor and master degree program. Those ones are like men seeing those ones are six years. Uh -huh. See it's five to six years. PhD program post degree masters so now we are going to be seeing the courses available and how to apply okay usually you would always come here but normally to bring out a place where you can you should be used to this university portals by now where you can select your country so here is already in nigeria select your category non-eu students okay so to make this search very easy for us we are going to be we are going to be selecting all program academic session then here we'll just turn it to english okay then you click find programs but before we see the program let's see the scholarship available at this university So you see we have a lot of scholarships siena international excellence scholarship you click here to see the requirements at the dedicated pages scholarship by d su toscana scholarship for refugee and students from international crisis area scholarship by the Italian government and scholarship by other institutions so do where to check the links to see the requirements so and then I get some information that some people find it difficult to pay application fee. Now, sometimes it might not be that you, you don't know how to go about it. It might be that most the, some of these portals do not accept some of Nigerian cards. So you can also read here fee payment instruction. So you say you can submit up to two applications. But you must you can apply to maximum of two degree programs but you pay each it's not like the money you are paying for one will cover for the two no each you pay for each application but it's only two you can submit look at it the application fee is non-refundable okay so look at the possible cards you can use to pay here so to know the annual tuition fee and installment you can use their online calculator. You can also check here for the living cost. Okay. So 
So you can see that even for most, some of these programs are in English language, some of them have not opened. Now you see this particular one is a BSc program, the application has not opened yet. Okay. And this is because TOC registration have not started. So it's only the MSc programs that open. So we have applied masters and um, applied mathematics. We have artificial intelligence and automation engineering. So you see all of these ones they are open. So it's only the BSc program that is not open. Okay, even this master's degree program too is not open. So the one with this, you know, is open. So these are all the program that are available in English language at this university. Even the single degree programs are not open as well. So you see, these are all the programs that are currently open. So we are going to just pick one as an example to see the pathway for how we are going to. Okay, let's take this applied mathematics as an example. So before you go and apply, always check more information to see details about the course that you want to go into. So you see it's a two years program, master degree full time, English language. The application fee is 49 euros 90 cents. So for this program, applied math, 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 applied mathematics, bachelor's, undergraduate, diploma, or higher is the requirement. It says after you apply, an enrollment committee will evaluate your competence and skills to determine if they meet the program requirements. Then it says admission criteria. Please make sure that you read the admission criteria very well to see if you meet the requirements because some people are getting rejected because they do not meet the basic requirement needed for that particular program now it says a background in mathematics statistics and physics equivalent to that obtained in a first level bachelor's mathematics degree so you see basic principles of computer science and introductory programming skills this one's nice compulsory. Then it says after evaluation, you'll be notified of the outcome approximately one month after the application deadline or earlier. So it's one month after the application deadline, which is May 6, that you'll be notified of the outcome, or it could be also earlier than that. Okay. So it also says at the discretion of the enrollment committee, students who pass the initial selection based on the submitted document may be invited to take a remote online test or an attend or and or attend attend an interview the dates for any additional selection test will be communicated via email so in this particular program you might be you might do an online test or an interview okay so entry Qualification documents accepted. School and university usually provide documentation translated into English. So if your documentation is only in English, you have to um, get an official translation. That's if you are not from an English-speaking country. Then review the documents required for application on this link. So let's see the documents required. You need your admission documents, which is your passport. It says CV. They said any format is accepted, even if the Euro Pass CV format is recommended. So I would advise you to use the Euro Pass. Your transcripts. Please note it has to be written in either Italian or English language. If these documents are in different language, you must upload the certified translation. So those of you who also ask me, do I need to legalize or on to my documents before application no at the application stage legalized documents are not required however if admitted you will need to submit additional documents which will include the legalized copies of those educational documents to complete your final enrollment so it said language proficiency we'll check that based on the program 
then other documents so these are other document motivation letter some programs might require it so note the one that are program specific and not the one that are general requirements okay so now let's look at the english requirements So here you need the level of minimum B2 level of English proficiency is required. But you can also see that there are some exemptions for submitting language certifications. And which are the exemptions? So it says candidates of any nationality who have obtained their entry level qualification for enrollment through an English taught program. So if your previous degree has been in English, either be high school or BSc program, then you can submit an English proficiency letter. Now it says the decision to grant an exemption is at the sole discretion of the Admission Application Evaluation Committee. So just do where to read the information down here. So even if you don't meet up, meet up with the English proficiency, you can also do an interview. They can call you for an interview. Okay, so back to the application. So I'm just going to look at more information about this particular program before we apply. So this is everything you need to know about the course. So you can just do it to explore. Here is apply enrollment. You can also apply here. Study. So just click here and just know about it. That's if you're interested in this particular program. So here they also have placements and traineeship. They have post Laura and mobility. Okay. So let's look. Just look at what the academic fee says. Okay, so this is just information on the academic fee. So most times, the information about academic fees is mostly based on this current academic session. The one for 2025, 2026 is not out yet. So now let's go straight to the application properly. So if you are used to Dream ID, if you already have an account with Dream ID for other universities that uses the same portal, then all you need to do is um, log in again. You understand me? But if you're a new applicant on this portal, you can just go through new applicant. If you already have an account with this same portal, you can actually still use it to uh, make an application for this university. Okay, but if not, you just have to register over again. So put in your email, click register. Then you send your link in your email and then you just go over the registration. Very easy and quick. So after you've been able to register and sign in, then it takes you here. Then you click continue. Then it takes you over here again. So it's like you're starting from the beginning where you have to find your program. So you already have the name of your program in here. So just go straight to typing it on the search bar. So since we're using applied science before, Applied mathematics, sorry. So it makes it easy for us. And then we click apply now. And then here we are. So you just go through, you can add more choices. So if you're going to be adding another application, so you can, that's where you add the other application. Maybe you want to also apply for applied mathematics and something else. So that's where you go. To add it up so this column this row right here is where you fill all information you see profile you complete this um fill everything in there the red mark i, I will always say is the ones that are compulsory so you must fill in the information required there then you click submit then you come back to this rule you fill in the information for contact same for education so this education poll, this education um, place, um, there's something I want to show you guys. Hmm. 
So here it's saying a nominated GPA. So it's asking you to put your GPA in the scale of 60 to 100. So thanks to this, they already put a calculator there, which will make it easy for you to make the conversion. Okay. So just click that link to do the conversion. You can not go to be using your normal scale of three points this or three point that. So you do the conversion on this particular. So you see the formula here, which is 60 plus your score. Your score, for example, now you finish with a 3.45. So that's your score. Your minimum score for your university might be maybe 1.50. You put it there. Divided by the maximum score. You put to the minimum score. So this information is found on your transcript. Please go to the last page of your transcript to find it. So if your university uses 5.0 as a scale, 5.0 is the maximum score. Why minimum score? If it's one point, no, I think that should be like the class is maybe 1.50. I don't know. So you can see they also put an example down there to make it easy. Then that is a downloadable spreadsheet where you can actually do the calculation. That's if you cannot solve by yourself on using simple board mass. Okay. So here you're still going to put, fill in what is your minimum GP, which is most university taught class is one point something. You also fill the one that is for maximum. Okay. Like I said, you find this information at the last page of your transcript is always there. What is first class? Taught class is always the minimum. First class is always the maximum. Uh -huh. Then you go for language. So that's just how it works on this particular role. So just fill in every information there. So this particular place where they are saying the English proficiency, just tick be doing. Okay. Tick be doing level. So you just fill every information you have on this um, role here, your enrollment. You say make sure that the employment, um, maybe the employment letter, if you have any employment that is of relevance to this particular program. So make sure the employment information you are filling is relevant to the to the particular program you are applying for. Okay. So after you are done with filling all of this, and you successfully submitted your application. Then the university will send an invoice to your email, which is the email you use to register on this portal for and um, for the payment of your application fee. Okay, so you may not find any application fee here, but they will send you a direct invoice on your email address. So, guys, please at this point, if you've not liked this video, please do what to like this particular video. Help me subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not, and please do what to share this video too orders so that other people can benefit from what we are doing here thank you so much for watching till this time i really do appreciate god bless you and then i will see you in another video ciao